this is Roger Heska, the 43-year-old teenager, coming to you from the big island of Hawaii. I'm here in our kitchen, and I just wanted to show you a fruit that's like uh, chocolate pudding. You know, I, I call it chocolate pudding fruit or something along those lines. Uh, but I believe they call it the black sapote. Now, what I've found here so far in the big island of Hawaii is just an incredible selection of tropical fruit and of produce. There's farms everywhere. Um, it's, you know, we, we spent a lot of time in Panama and Costa Rica, and we just didn't see the variety of fruit that's easily available as we've been finding here. They have farmer's markets uh, running just about every day of the week. Uh, I think the Hilo's farmer's market is open seven days a week. The two big days, I believe, are Wednesdays and Saturdays. So the other days are smaller. Of course, you can go visit farmers. Anyway, let me show you this um, uh, black sapote, the chocolate pudding fruit. Here it is on the cutting board. I've already uh, cut it open, so this is just half of it. And I believe you're supposed to let it get really uh, soft and uh, mushy. Okay, now I'm going to see if I can dig into it while I'm filming here so you can see its texture. And it does taste chocolatey and it's real, it's got a real nice pudding uh, like, pudding like consistency. It's hard to do this with one hand, but you can sort of, sort of see there. Alright, I'm going to put it in my mouth. Sorry for the shaking, I'm the only one here to film this, uh, holding this in my hand. Really good, really smooth. Now, we've run into all sorts of great fruit here. Um, one, of the, one of the fruits that we just recently tried for the first time is Rolinia, and that just tastes magnificent. Uh, though that's kind of harder to get, you got to get it right from the farmers because they ripen and, and rot in like 24 hours so it's, and they're soft. Um, so they don't ship very well. So you got to live near one of those farmers. Here's some more of what we've got. We've got different varieties of avocados. Actually, this is very little now. Uh, Carmen is out going shopping for more fruit. These are at, at, Atamoyas. Um, I haven't eaten any of those yet. Of course, we have different varieties of avocado. Some of the, uh, there's a certain variety of avocado that I really like. I think this is called uh, Abiyu. This is a nice, uh, pleasant flavor. It's also custard-like. Um, what else do we have over here? Of course you get, you know, pineapples and papayas. Uh, what do we got here? And mangoes. Unfortunately, we, we realize that storing the fruit like this uh, produces mold, so Oh, this is a Champadac. We're, I don't know if this is ripe yet or not. We, we really are not experts at these fruits yet. Of course, some mango here, persimmon, another abiyu, more mangoes over here, and of course here the big papaya, which is unfortunately not getting a lot of mold on it due to the way we stored it, I think. You know, we were trying to avoid fruit flies, but uh, I don't think that was a good strategy. All right, so I just want to share you a little bit. Uh, about what we got here. This is a little view outside our porch. Right next to us, they're working on this house over there. But uh, it's really nice. We actually have uh, noni trees right in the front yard, and there's uh, macadamia nuts. You know, you can just find them everywhere, all over the place, just falling to the ground from the trees. Oh, one other thing. We have some great young coconuts over here. You can take a look. I'm not sure which variety these are, but we, we ran into one of our uh, subscribers, email subscribers, and he has a farm here, and he has Malaysian and Samoan coconuts. And some of, I guess some of the varieties of coconuts they have, you don't have to climb really high in the tree. The coconuts stay lower to the ground. 